Okay, first thing to notice is this is a cube. So this is going to be four centimeters and this is going to be four centimeters. In fact, all the lengths are four centimeters. And with these kind of questions, the first thing you need to realize is that you um, are missing this length here and you need to find this length, which I'm just gonna call um, X. And then when you find that length, you're gonna use that length to create a right angle triangle here. And the right angle triangle uses X. And we need to find this angle here, which is the angle from G to E to C. So it's this angle here, which I'm just gonna call Y. Um, to make things a bit clearer. So I'm going to draw out um, the two right angle triangles we're using for this question. Um, so, so first of all we're using what's it, E, G, H, the one uh, flat, which is four centimeters there, four centimeters there, and a right angle there, and we called this X. And then the second um, triangle we're using um, and this is E, uh, this is G and let's just have a look and see at the top there. And we called this one Y, uh, this one, bottom one's going to be X and you can see here that the height of that is four centimeters. So that's four centimeters. So to start this off, uh, we're going to first of all find out what x is using Pythagoras' theorem. And I'm not going to go into using Pythagoras' theorem, but you'll end up with this, which is root 32. So we know x is root 32 uh, by using Pythagoras' theorem. Um, then because we know uh, x is root 32, I can get rid of that x there, and we know that that's going to be root 32. And we go use trigonometry. So it's going to be using tan. And if you don't know um, Pythagoras' theorem or trigonometry, there's loads of stuff on the site. And it's going to be tan y, which is what I've called it in this question, uh, equals the opposite, which is 4 over root 32. So therefore, y is going to be uh, the inverse tan of 4 over root 32. Get my calculator. So inverse tan fraction 4 over root 32, close the bracket, and it says the answer is 35.26. Now 35.26 is actually quite a, a special number because it works for any cube, it's always going to be 35.26 no matter what the cube is. So if the lengths were slightly different, it would still be 35.26 which I've given away a big secret to answering the question on the site.